Hey. Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, how's it going? So, uh, we're here at the 96 Boards area of the Demo Friday. Yes, yes, welcome, welcome. So, as you can see, we have several 96 Boards demos laid out here. I want to introduce uh, one of the guys who played a pivotal role or crucial role in making uh, this all happen. Yeah, so, Mani, uh, please introduce yourself. Yep. Hey. I'm Mani Manan Sadasivam. Where welcome. are you from? Uh, I'm from India. Uh, and uh, you were... Uh, you were joining the team, right? Yep, yeah, I'm working under him. I'm an applications engineer in Linaro, 96 Boards team, working under Robert Wolf, my yeah. community manager. So what kind of stuff he's doing? What is it, what do you get him to do? Yeah, no, yeah, so uh, as you can see right here on the table, uh, some of the things are running, but we ha we'll have them all go in in just a moment. Uh, we wanted to talk about the self-balancing robot in particular right now. So Mani right here can kind of walk you through everything that's going on. And if you want to take a look also, you can see our block diagram and read a little bit about what's happening here. But Mani will, will run through the code and show you a little demo. This looks cool. This looks like the coolest stuff I've seen with 96 boards right here. Uh, we'll talk you, about this one What are you doing? Uh, so I'm just creating two uh, demo here. So one is the home surveillance kit, and uh, that's based on Dragon Board Potency. So uh, this is self-balancing bar, which is also based on potency. How do you make it self-balance? Ah, uh, so this is the block diagram here. So Can we see it self-balancing? Yep, after some time. <laughs> it's so, thinking, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so here, so uh, we have the MPU6050, which is the sensor. Uh, it has the DMP in that, the DMP, the digital motion processor. It does all of the signal processing stuff. So is this which, which board? So this is Dragon Board 14 c 14 c Yep. It has an MPU... Uh, what is that? That sensor, uh, accelerometer. Accelerometer. Uh, so it's okay. it's an IMU. It's a combination okay. of accelerometer and gyroscope. So it gives you the position information. So that goes to 96 board CE. So we are running it based on the Dragon Board 14 C. But theoretically, it should be possible to use yeah. any 96 board CE. So it has the PID controller in it, proportional integral and derivative controller. It just controls based on the inputs. It just controls the position of P sensor ID. output. Yep. It's a part, another part of the SOC. There's so many small ah, parts, right? Is no, no, is? no, no. This is a software this, part. This, this software running on software the algorithm. Just running on the main chip. Yep. Running on the Cortex A fifty three quad yeah. core, right? So that will control the, <clears throat> the motor uh, position based on the IMU input, and then we have the sensors machine on top of this. So this guy is used to control the servos. So right now we are not using the uh, sensor machine to control servos. We are using an Arduino. So theoretically, it should be possible to use this guy without this to control the servos, because we have the Arduino on top of this. So. Um, what other stuff do you have going on here? So I have the battery here, lithium ion battery. So this will provide um, 12 volt input to uh, Dragon Boat potency. So via this. Uh, and then uh, I have the Arduino connected to um, potency on top of the sensor's mezzanine. And uh, so I have the motor controller here. You can see this L298 motor controller. So uh, that is actually powered by Dragon Boat potency itself because we have the uh, 12 volt also in output also from potency so i'm using that to control motors so right here nice uh, sorry yeah did you just build this yep uh, where in india uh, yeah in india <laughs> so this chases is a pre-made chases i bought this from india so i just i just want to point out real quick so um if anyone wants to go to our github it's uh, github.com forward slash 96 boards dash projects and then in there you'll find a bunch of projects repositories this is something we're slowly building out but the self-balancing bot and all the materials you need including the bill of materials is all available on that organization on that repo so what do you think about the stuff uh, money is doing great uh, great are we going to get to see it yeah have, okay. you, have you been in a bunch of 96 hour uh, what's called open, open hours? hours yeah I was that? What yeah. he was been talking about in those shows? So he actually he demoed the, this this one that we're getting running up and running right now on the home surveillance, um, and then he's also talked about some of his big contributions towards LibMRAA and our ultimate goal to kind of find a unified I/O library that we can work with within 96 boards. Since we have so many different boards all running under the same footprint, we want to make sure that we can find a library that we can stand behind. And, and how so, long have you been yeah. working with together? Oh, so it's been like six months from April. So and what do you think about Linaro? That's great. The 96 boards. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great initiative. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's very really cool. So, and I have one of the coolest manager here. So this guy. Uh, is very thanks, great. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, it, uh, it'd be great if 96 boards become as big as Raspberry Pi. So do you have a strategy? What well, one How day? Yeah. No. So not so much a strategy. I mean, you know, our goal is is to provide a strong path to product. 
and that's what we're going to kind of stand by. Ultimately, uh, you know, you have some of these big industry partners that want to help you take your development and build something out of it. So, uh, you know, I'm, hopefully you get to talk to Arrow in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, they'll talk to you a little bit about that as well. But um, yeah, we're here to just kind of push that, that message. Let's see your robot. Sure. It's taking over the world, right? Uh. <laughs> So you're doing some, some code uh, here? Yeah, I need to uh, tune this guy, so... So you're tuning him in real time? Yep. You just change some, some parameters. Yep. Sudo, that means you're the boss yeah. of the product. You have to balance it depending on the, all the cables and stuff, right? The yeah, balance. that's fine. So it will balance actually. So we're seeing in real time. Oh uh, yeah. So not happen. So we have. Okay. Sorry, I'm putting the pressure. On ah, you. that's fine. <laughs> it just looks cool. Yeah. Ah, uh, sensor is not getting detected. That's why. All right. Ah, can you just give me a yeah, second? Yeah, so I'll give you a second. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe we can uh, we can jump over here. What uh, what's being shown over here? So I should have just trained our 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 set here to know my face. Uh, the goal of this particular kit is to set a list, say uh, a, a well a known list and a unknown list, and you can then. Uh, tell it which faces you want it to follow and then in future iterations we'll have a action reaction type deal so uh, detects a face that it doesn't like and then sends a text message or locks a door or does something like that you know and sensing actuation this you did that too yep yeah, yeah I did that. that so um, Dragonbird Potency is running open CV uh, that's actually tuned for uh, potency so we actually build that and uh, I'm using um, Okay, so we are using the Python class server also, and also the AWS. So there are three components inside, OpenCV, AWS, and then Python class server. So we are actually using the webcam to capture our face, and then uh, we'll create a trained data set. And then uh, based on the data set, if the um, captured face is uh, identified, it will actually show your name on top of that. And also, it will actually live stream those. Uh, you can see it's, it's, yeah. it's following me right now. So, so this will actually follow you. Yeah, it, I set it to follow Robert, so it should be following me. That's Even the, the, the arm? Yep. He's got so motors actually, and stuff. Yeah, he's got, he's got the servos. Yep. Two servos I mean, they again. aren't the best servos, but... This is the first security camera that I've seen follow people like uh -huh. this. It's really scary. It's like Tom Cruise movie or something. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's scary. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> cool, yeah, so if, if you want to come back later, we'll show you some more. Uh, we have some other... Uh, cool things we've done over here, and there are uh, plenty of other 96 boards experiments and demos about this. Uh, all this yeah. Let's do some more videos. Excellent, excellent. Cool. And yep. how was that? Uh, the, yesterday it was a packed room full of people who would open hours. Did you get some videos of that? Yeah. Yeah? Or any pictures? Uh, yeah, I linked to the, the, to the whole stream, right? Oh, and cool. How, how was that? Yeah, no, it was amazing. Uh, we were joined by a lot of very uh, you know interesting people. We had the CEO yeah. from Gumsticks. We had representatives from Qualcomm, from Red Hat. We had our lead community guy here, Michael Welling. Uh, and then, um, who was the last person that was on the panel there? I know I'm forgetting someone. Either, either well, we way. We got Kamarm, right? Yeah, oh yeah, and then Grant Likely, of course. Oh my yeah. gosh, I gotta forget. So yeah, we had a lot of really cool people on the panal. Uh, we were joined by universities from within the area. I need to charge the battery. You need to charge the battery. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Cool, what other projects do you have for the in near future? Um, so uh, I'll be working on uh, automated grade Linux project uh, in the upcoming days and uh, be working on cool stuff. So <laughs> I don't know. Uh, please keep uh, keep watching the open house uh, show. Uh, we'll be showing the cool demos and then uh, we, so whatever we are do everything we are doing is open source and uh, those uh, things will be in the 96 boards uh, projects repo. So just go there and then you'll have uh, plenty of projects uh, hosted by uh, ourselves and as well as the community.